Patriotism turned to a bit of panic today when a supporter of the Freeport Flag Ladies was hit by a car during a show of solidarity. The accident happened when a member of one of the many veterans organizations at the, uh, in Freeport today was crossing the street. She was hit and was then rushed to Maine Medical Center with non-life-threatening injuries. She remains in serious condition tonight. Hundreds of people were there showing support for the Freeport Flag Ladies a week after they reported being harassed for holding flags along the road every morning since 9-11. News Center's Katie Bavoso has the story. This was the scene on the corner of Main and School Streets on Tuesday when Patriot Riders member Rhoda O'Leary was struck by a car. And I heard the hit and I saw a car stop so I just ran to the front and saw her laying there. Minutes before that, O'Leary and hundreds of veterans, service members and civilians filled the sidewalks of Main Street alongside the Freeport Flag Ladies. A demonstration of solidarity after learning the Flag Ladies had filed a protection order against James Rue, who they say has repeatedly and publicly accused them of exploiting 9-11 to push their personal political views. Our motto is vets helping vets, but people that are also helping vets or supporting our vets, it's important that we're there to support them too. I mean, anybody to think that we're pro-war just doesn't know us. We are with people from all walks of life, and if we took political stands, we are cutting people out. But tensions and confusion ran thick after O'Leary's accident. Someone came over here yelling, hey, you know, this is your fault. A group of young advocates was also there, holding up signs supporting a different cause. Many on both sides thought the harassment stemmed from the views of this group and not from the alleged actions of one man. This has never been about somebody else's freedom of speech. It's about his harassment against us. It's not about somebody holding a sign. It was an emotionally conflicting day. Many came with different perspectives, all left with heavy hearts. But the demonstration ended with understanding and handshakes from both groups. And according to the leader of the flag ladies, Elaine Green, that's the way it should be. I am proud of those young people. They, they, they had a cause they believed in, and they stood in a place that was probably made uncomfortable for them. They represent our future, and, and, and they represent a future that I can be hopeful for. In Freeport, Katie Baboso, News Center.